Hi guys, welcome to Freebirds Two and welcome to Rag Plus LLM use cases in finance domain playlist part one. So let's get started. So if you don't yet watched my 75 hard generative AI learning challenge, please watch and learn Gen A for free. The video link is in the description. So now, what you can expect from this playlist? This playlist or this video is completely full of theory and the practical work and we will also build a project in this video at the end as well. Okay, so let's get started with the theory first. So if you see this kind of a roadmap, the use of AI in the financial services started a long back ago. In the first, we can see the use cases of AI for security in the Apple Pay app and then it get more advanced and we use in the chatbots along with the facial recognition system at the banks and uh, then we see it in the chat GPT launch and now it is used in the Amazon use case that name as just walk out. So this use case just walk out is so amazing that whenever a customer go to a shopping mall and he touch something but does not buy that touch thing will automatically add it to a virtual card that can be shown as a recommendation to that person in the uh, future times as well. Okay, these are like some trends that are happening in the world right now. We can see the use case of Gen AI and LLM in the finance domain and they like big concerns related to the finance team. So like what can they expect? They expect the generative AI technical skills. So you need to learn Gen AI to apply in the finance domain. You need to know about the Gen AI fluency. You need to know about the risk adaptation and along with the vision and leadership alignment as well. And if you talk about the current market scenario, the current market scenario is very, very amazing because many companies are trying to apply Gen AI to their finance domain. And these are like some of the potential use cases of Gen AI right now. The very first is the fraud reduction in transactions or payment. Then, then we have the chatbots and we have the algorithmic trading and recommendation system, portfolio optimization, default prediction, underwriting, and many more things as well. Okay, so you can use Gen AI in all those things. And in this whole playlist, uh, I can teach you or I can build these kind of use cases for you so that you can learn from it and apply at your current job or in the companies as well. Okay, so in this video, our first project is we are trying to build a financial report of a company by using the economic and the stock market data. Okay, we use the Falcon 7B large language model and this whole project is built by using the large language models RAG, Langchain and along with the Python language as well. Okay, so let's start building the project now. Here is my uh, Google Collab notebook and uh, in this notebook I will upload in the GitHub so you can use it and uh, can get the source code of all the projects that I am building throughout this whole playlist as well. And this notebook will contain everything you need to know. Plus, there's a small note that I am completely using the open source large language model. So the responses of the projects might be not accurate as you mean. But by if you use the open AI or meta large language models, though your response accuracy will increase drastically by use using the same code as I am teaching. Okay. So, so if someone don't know what is RAG, you can watch my this video. I will put the link in the I button and along with the description as well. Okay. So let's get started building the project. So we have our problem statement that when we need to build a financial report of a company by using the stock market data or the economic indicators that we can fetch by using the uh, modeling prep API. Okay. And that data will then pre-processed and then used for our project as well. So we can see we have the project methodology here. This is that uses the open source a API to fetch the latest financial modeling data regarding the company matrices along with the economic indicators. Then we use the Python to fetch that data and we can pre-process it and then we can try to uh, save it in the CSV file. And then that same CSV file is loaded by using the lang chain and then we can insert it into the vector DB by using the embedding model from the hugging face that is also a open source site now. And then we use the rag QA chain by using the lang chain and building the complete rag architecture by use using the Falcon 7B large language model. And then we check the response as well. Okay, so let's get started. Here is the like my first thing. I first try to get the uh, data from this API regarding my query. I will put the query here and my API key goes here. Okay, and uh, it will also fetch that data of the Indian stock market as well and along with the a world stock market as well. 
So you need to just put, put it right here as I just put the exchange here and my exchange is the US. I need to get the data of the Microsoft as well. I will put their company name. That name is listed in the stock market as well. And then it will give me the company economic indicators data. And this is the like latest information about the company as of now. Okay, I have the change day, low, high, along with the market cap, along with the volume and everything it is in the here, along with the BE ratios as well. Okay, then, then I need to install the libraries here. I need to install the Langchain library down here and I will try to uh, do some kind of pre-processing with that data from their date times as well. And then I will store that data into a CSC format. Okay, and then I will uh, try to uh, install the Hugging Face uh, sentence transformer library because that is used for the hugging face embeddings as well because we need to put that csv file into the vector db as well and here i load the csv loader to load my csv file and load the text splitter because we need to chunk that csv as well so i chunk that csv with a chunk size of 50 you can also uh, like change it as per your requirements as the length of your uh, data as well Okay, then I use the embeddings here and these embeddings are then uh, stored in the vector DB. So first I create a vector store by using the chroma DB that is also a open source right now. Okay, and we use this kind of a location and I will store all my this split data into the chroma DB under the collection name of economic data. And here I uh, put all the embeddings that I just created here as well. Okay. And then it will store all that data in the form of embeddings into the vector DB. Okay, now, now if I just ask a single question that Microsoft or like uh, what is the PE ratio of the Microsoft? What is the market cap of the Microsoft? It, it will try to answer all those questions and give me the documents related to that question as well. Okay, now if I try to build a RAG architecture around this vector DB and the large language model. Okay, so here I just first load the large language model that is a Falcon 7B instruct model. And then I have the Hugging Face API key here to load this model from the Hugging Face hub as well. And then I have the retrieval QS chain as well. So for that kind of thing, I first made my uh, economic uh, indicator lang chain chroma DB as a retriever because that will help me to re uh, retrieve the query data from the vector DB. And I will need at least two kind of documents from that data. And then I just put my uh, query here. That is a uh, financial report. And I will put a complete prompt here. That is you are a financial market expert and get to the market common data and build a complete financial report. This is just kind of a, a prompt that, that you can like uh, send to the uh, large language model with the uh, retrieved data from the vector DB as well. And then I will put all that data into the uh, retrieval QA chain and put a, a chain type as stuff because the stuff means it, it will accumulate all the data from these two responses and then get the prompt and this is our, my retriever as well it will completely run the query as well so now as I just show you the re response will look like this in this format okay so this is how it will uh, give you the response I know that response is not as much as quite uh, accurate as you expect but if you use the open AI or the paid large language models these responses will change drastically and you can also add here that I just need the data into tabular form as well so it will give you a complete kind of a table at the end as well okay I hope you guys completely understand that how I uh, use the uh, API data and build a kind of a short project around that by using the large language models and RAG architectures as, as well. Okay, so in our next video, I will tell you, will you build a financial news summarizer project that can detect the sentiment of a company as per the current market reports. Okay, so just be with it. And if you want to learn about prompt engineering, generative AI or machine learning, you can watch my videos on YouTube. And also, you can uh, follow me on Medium for latest blogs on these projects as well. So just be with it. Thank you guys. We'll meet in our next video. Thanks so much.